In this video, I wanna give you a shifting 101 on how to change gears on your dirt bike. What's up, Rad family? I'm Dakota Freeman, and welcome to the Rad Adventure Dude channel. This shifting 101 video is gonna show you everything you need to know on how to change gears on your dirt bike. When we're first learning how to change gears on our dirt bike, we need to know the three controls that we're gonna to use to change gears. We're gonna be using our throttle, our clutch, and our gear shifter. These three controls are what we're gonna to use to go through and change gears on our dirt bike. The first thing is gonna to be to learn how to use these three controls in the proper order. The proper order is gonna always be to let the throttle off and to pull in our clutch. Once you've done this, then we can use our left foot to shift gears using our gear shifter. Our gear shifter is gonna work by tapping it down to shift down and tapping it up to shift up and we're gonna to have to learn how to use our left foot to get under the gear shifter to shift up and to move our foot forward and tap down to shift down. Then after making a complete gear shift, we need to move our foot back to the proper riding position standing on the balls of our feet. As long as you go through these orders in this way, you'll make sure that you don't miss a gear when you're changing gears on your dirt bike. This also applies for when we're shifting up through our gears. We're always gonna make sure that we let off the throttle, pull in our clutch, and then shift up to get into a higher gear. As we're learning how to change gears on our dirt bike, let's go ahead and cover what each gear is used for on our bikes. The lower gears are gonna be to have more acceleration, and the higher gears are gonna have a lot more top speed. Finding the balance between the acceleration and the top speed that we're looking for is all gonna be based on what gear we're in. We're gonna to have to get very comfortable with how we change gears as we're constantly gonna be changing gears up and down as we're riding on our dirt bikes. So practice using your clutch, using your throttle, and your gear shifter until this is instilled into your riding and you no longer have to think about it. You need to practice this and also realize that the RPM level of the dirt bike is gonna be a huge signal to knowing if you're in the correct gear when you're changing gears. When we're changing gears, we want to listen to the RPM level of the dirt bike and hear it and it will signal to us when we need to properly change our gears. If we're in a low gear, like first or second, these gears are going to be very short. They're going to have a lot of acceleration, but as you accelerate with the throttle, it's going to shortly run out of power. And this is why we're going to have to shift gears and change into a higher gear that has a longer gear ratio for more top speed. And since you have the RPM level correct on the dirt bike, this gear is also going to have a good acceleration as well. As you begin to accelerate on your dirt bike, then you're going to do the same thing again, and you're going to find that you're climbing in the power and that there's an arc in this power. The arc of the power is where the RPM level gets higher, you get more acceleration, and then eventually it plateaus out and we begin to lose power. We want to make sure that we change gears right before we begin to lose power every single time. If you run this gear too long and it gets too high in the RPM level, it's actually going to slow us down. So we want to find this very happy medium place to when we need to change our gears. So as you're going through your gears and learning what gear you need to be in at the correct time, this is going to be very important to making you the best rider you can possibly be. If you're in the wrong gear and you try to accelerate, your bike is just gonna bog down and you're not gonna have any acceleration. This is why it's important to know how to change gears to where if you do get on the throttle and there's no response here, we need to shift down to get our RPMs higher where we can really get more acceleration out of our throttle. Also, the opposite applies here as well. If we're into low of a gear and we get on the throttle and there's no top speed really, and we shortly run out of power and the RPMs are very high, we need to learn how to shift up in our gears and change into a higher gear that has a more top speed for us to actually get going faster on our dirt bikes. This way we don't just wind out our gears, running out of power and losing speed along the way. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, make sure you hit that and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future dirt bike riding tips. The next part of this video that I wanna cover is gonna be how to change gears when we're standing up and change gears when we're sitting down. A lot of the times we're gonna be more comfortable when changing gears if we're sitting down, especially when we're learning. However, when we wanna become better motocross riders and really master our dirt bike riding skills, we need to learn how to change gears while standing up. 
standing up in the attack riding position ready for anything that's coming at us and going through the proper order of operations of all these controls is going to be very important to making sure that we can change gears properly. As we're sitting down and changing gears, we're not going to have to think about much moving our left foot from the foot peg to the gear shifter and back to the foot peg because we're sitting on the dirt bike. However, when we begin to stand up and want to change gears, now we're going to have to put all of our weight on our right foot as we pick up our left foot to move to the gear shifter and then shift our gears before putting it back on the foot peg. We can also use our upper body on our handlebars to help brace for this as well. This way we can keep the bike even and put weight on our handlebars to help us pick up our inside foot and shift our gears. When we begin to shift gears while standing up, this is going to be very important to making sure we can get the most power out of our dirt bikes as we can stand up and go faster as well. If you're sitting down taking the abuse of all the tracks and trails, this is really going to slow you down. But as you begin to stand up and now you can really increase your speed on your dirt bike and accelerate much faster and go faster on your dirt bike. This way you can change gears into the higher gears while standing, not having any of this abuse affect your body. The last part of this that I want to go over is going to be how to shift up in the gears to where when you're coming into a whoop section or going down a big long straightaway that we are changing into a higher gear where we have more top speed out of the dirt bike. If we're coming into a whoop section or a long straightaway, we want to make sure that we're setting up for this before we get into the whoops. This way we're shifting up before we get into the whoop section and don't run out of power as we're going through the whoops. This way we're getting set up for this whoop section before we even get into the whoops, shifting into a higher gear that has more top speed and that we can continue on the throttle throughout the entire whoop section without running out of power and having to change gears again. Changing gears while going through a whoop section like this is going to be very difficult and this is why it's important that we change into the proper gear before we get into this whoop section. Maybe even shifting into a higher gear than we might need to be in just so we can continue accelerating through these whoops to get the most speed out of our dirt bike. When learning how to do this, it's going to be very important that we are standing up in the attack riding position as we're going through this whoop section as well. This is going to provide you with a smooth ride, making you where you can go faster and ride for a longer period of time. So make sure you're practicing your dirt bike shifting and learning how to change gears on your dirt bike at your own level. If this video helped you, make sure you like this video and drop some comments down below and ask me any other questions that you have. If you're still looking for more dirt bike riding tips, I'm always here. I've made a full dirt bike riding course over on my website. It's going to walk you through being a complete beginner and take you to an advanced rider mastering the tracks and trails. Plus, I give away a free dirt bike guide over on my website as well. Just sign up for my newsletter and I'll send it right to you. Make sure you click the subscribe button that's right here and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future dirt bike riding tips. After that, you can watch my next video right here. Stay rad and I'll see you over there.